fail. You hear me? He already fell. Look at his right pant leg. He fell up the stairs trying to walk down. Daddy, I need your help. Hey, y'all. Tamara here. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to do a day in life vlog today, I guess. Or some sort of a form of a something. <laughs> um, anyway, Andre and I are both free today. He's off work today. So... We scheduled an eye exam because we both need to get our eyes checked because neither one of us has gotten our eyes checked in a few years. So we just figured we both go together. So we're going to go do that. My appointment is at 1020. He is at 1040, I think. So we're about to head out in a minute. It's like 10, I mean 915 now. But I just wanted to come say hi. Y'all should have thought, if I remember to upload it, me making breakfast for Julian. I just made him some pancakes, and then I did pancakes and eggs for myself. Andre always just usually has a smoothie for breakfast. My hair is so frizzy. Um, and then we took him outside to wait for the school bus. So now we're about to head out. So stay tuned. So, oh, we back home. Let me tell y'all what happened. Let's talk about how we didn't even get seen at the eye doctor. My appointment was at 1020. I think I told y'all this. My husband's was at 1040. Julian gets out of school at noon, okay? Technically 1155. It's a little before noon. They hadn't came and got us yet, and it was 11 o'clock. Y'all know an eye appointment is like 30 minutes. 20, well, for them, it's supposed to be 20, but they were taking, they were taking 30 minutes. So, I was supposed to go back at 1020. He come in after me at 1040. We supposed to have been done by 11. That's the goal. We were supposed to have our glasses picked and done by hopefully 1130. That was our goal. It's 11 o'clock and they didn't even, they hadn't even pulled me in the back yet. So, we had to reschedule because we were going to be late if we add in me and my appointment, him and his appointment. I already would have been picking out glasses while he was at his appointment. And then I would have had to walk through. I mean, he would have had to come look for glasses after his appointment. And then both of us would have had to sit and pay copays and whatever else. It was just cutting it too close. So we had to reschedule. And then the lady, the receptionist, tried to say, well, can one of y'all stay and one of y'all go get the baby? No, we came together. We're leaving together. Like, y'all not finna try to inconvenience us because y'all running behind. So now we have to reschedule our appointments until next month. Because they're booked. She said, I don't know why it's taking so long. I'm done. Anyway, so my husband had a Starbucks gift card. And the Starbucks was right next door. So we got Starbucks. <sighs> my husband got a Danish. Julian got a cookie and an apple juice. My husband got a Danish and a water. And I got a sausage egg sandwich. And this... um. Spin Drift Sparkling Water with raspberry and lime flavor. So I'm going to eat this real quick. It's like 1130. I'm going to eat this before Julian comes home off his bus in like a half hour. And then talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, it's after four. Um, let me make sure my alarm doesn't go off. What time is it? 3.30. It's not four, quite four o'clock yet. Um, just sitting at my desk. 
haven't done anything. I went to check the mail. I got Julian out for school. What's like I told y'all I was gonna do? Um, his teacher did message us on the little class dojo app. He let us know that he did not have a good day at school today. So she said he, he she feels like he's as much as he was crying, he's probably getting a cold. So we just gotta keep an eye on him over the weekend because he doesn't have school on Friday, which is tomorrow. So we just have to keep an eye on him. I'm gonna put in my my eardrops. I have to put them in at four, but sorry, I'm thirsty. I have a half hour earlier. I have an ear infection <laughs> um, that I've been working with. I had one the last week of August. I took some amoxicillin, and then I took it for a week. And then my ear was still hurting. It kind of faded, but then it came right back um, in the middle of September. So I waited like four or five days because it wasn't super bad. You know, sometimes ear infections can go in on their own. So I waited and I just was doing my nasal sprays because I have really bad sinuses this summer. So my ENT put me on both of these nasal sprays. This is just a flow nase. It's just the medical name for it because I got it with my health insurance instead of buying it over the counter. Um, but I don't know what this is, y'all. But anyway, my ENT put me on both of those. So I'm like, I'm just going to do my nasal spray and hopefully it'll relieve the sinus pressure enough to where the ear infection goes away. That's cold in my eyes. I just woke up from a nap, y'all. Yeah. I just knocked out. I tried to work on the thumbnail. I couldn't come up with nothing. I mean, uh, intro. So I'm going to do that again after I do this. Anyway, so I have to do a new round of amoxicillin for a week, which is right here. Cut my name out. Only got three days left of it. One for this afternoon, two for tomorrow. And then one for Saturday morning. And I'll be done. And then I have my eardrops that I have to do. I have to do four times in my right ear. <laughs> my mirror is so dirty, y'all. Look at my mirror. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see this? Look at this. Look how dirty my mirror is. <sighs> Julian likes to play with it. I need to um Clean it. Need to figure out what we're eating for dinner. I ate some leftover. Um, I have to sit like this for like five minutes. If y'all want on my head, it's still tilted. I ate some. I made some pasta last night. Was just spaghetti noodles. Cause I didn't have any penne. I prefer penne pasta. That's my favorite. But spaghetti, spinach, garlic. I didn't feel like chopping up an onion, so I just used onion powder. Uh, threw some Cajun seasoning, some Tony uh, seasoning in there, some Italian seasoning, which is like paprika, oregano, rosemary. What else is in that mix? I think it's one more thing. I don't remember, but those three things for sure. Um, what else did I put? Pepper. I salted my water when I boiled my noodles, but I didn't salt it again separately after that. Y'all know Tony's has salt in it. And then I have like this, this um, Mrs. Dash seasoning that's salt free. And it has, oh, what is it? It's the original yellow package, packaging. And it has like lemon in it. So it has a lemon taste to it. I love to put that in my pasta. I put some of that in there too. And like I said, I made it last night. I had a little bit left. So I just ate that because I was falling asleep. And I'm like, I need to try to get an intro done today. Because the goal is for this vlog to potentially go up as my first Vlogtober vlog. But I'll have to see how I plan it out. Um... Today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 29, 30. So, 
so Sunday is the first. So yeah, you guys, this should be the first vlogmas, not vlogmas, vlog tour vlog. Because Sunday is October 1st, and I know that because my sister's birthday is October, I'm sorry, September 30th. My dad's birthday is today on September 28th. Yeah, I just came to say, I know we're probably going to have to order dinner because we got to go, I have to go. I have to go grocery shopping. We're in like that last stretch where you like down to like the last dredgings of your food. And I don't know if any of y'all are parents to kids with autism, but Julian don't want none of that food. Julian literally only eats breakfast food. So pancakes, waffles, oatmeal, turkey bacon. That's it. And fruit, obviously. Or he eats chicken nuggets and fries from a fast food place. He does not want homemade chicken nuggets and fries. We have tried the trick of saving the packaging and putting home chicken nuggets and fries in them. He does not want that. McDonald's accidentally sent us a 40, two 40 pieces one day through DoorDash. And we only ordered a four piece nugget for him or six piece nugget for him. And I was like, I'm going to freeze these. That's all they are anyway. So I'm like, these he, these are the only nuggets he'll eat. He does not eat the Tyson chicken nuggets and whatnot. So I'm like, I'm going to freeze them. Because we had 80 nuggets. <laughs> so I put some in the freezer and gave them to him. He tasted it. And it was clearly a McDonald's nugget. But because it was not in McDonald's packaging, he didn't want it. So... It's bad. And he's gotten so smart where he know Because it's kind of like my my husband and I are McDonald's out. So we'll like try to switch it up. Like, okay, who else has chicken nuggets and fries? Uh, Chick-fil-A, uh, Wendy's, uh, Popeye's, uh, Burger King. You know, like we'll try to like find White Castles has chicken rings. He'll eat their chicken rings. Like... We try to find other options. So it's gotten to the point where sometimes we just do not give Julian food. We'll just like try to make him a, sand a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Or there are some days he only wants to eat goldfish. The, only, the original box is the only ones he likes. It's just a lot. And my husband and I are fast fooded out. I'm going to be honest with y'all. But we only allow him to go a certain amount of days of not eating, if that makes sense. Like, we know the only thing he's going to eat is the nuggets. But we feel irresponsible if we order McDonald's for him <laughs> every day. So we break it up, we'll order it, and we'll go a few days without it. And give him like sandwiches he won't eat. We'll give him a bunch of fruit. We'll give him, I'll make breakfast for dinner. Like stuff like that. And then it gets to the point where it's like, okay, he got to eat something. So then we bite the bullet and order it. But we try not to do that every day. But I'm feeling like today, because because we know for a fact he was fussy all day at school. When I got him off the of school bus, y'all, he was crying. So I know today is not a good day for him. We may just have to do it just to, if anything, nothing else, cheer him up. But that's all I want to come back and tell y'all. That was it.